Hey everyone, this is Kenji Lopez Alt for Serious Eats, and I want to get serious for a second. If you're ordering broccoli cheese soup, you're really just looking for an excuse to eat nacho cheese sauce for lunch and pretend that it's healthy, right? Well, my version of broccoli cheese soup doesn't skimp on the cheese, but it packs in a ton of broccoli flavor by building it up in layers. Start by separating a pound and a half of broccoli into florets and stems. You want the florets to be small enough to fit neatly on a spoon. The stems are going to get pureed, so a good rough chop will do. Next, heat up two tablespoons of oil in a Dutch oven over high heat until it starts to shimmer, then add your broccoli florets and cook them without moving. The goal here is to give them a nice dark char which adds a sweet nutty flavor to them. Stir them only once the bottoms are charred and then keep cooking until they're charred on a few sides but still bright green. You can season them with a little bit of salt at this point too. Now spread them out on a rim baking sheet so that they cool quickly and set them aside. Now return that pot to medium heat and add three tablespoons of unsalted butter along with a sliced onion, a chopped carrot, and all of the broccoli stems. Our goal here is to soften them slowly but not to brown them which can lead to an off-putting sweetness in the finished soup. Once the vegetables have been softened, add a few cloves of sliced garlic and stir just until fragrant. Then add a couple cups of chicken stock or water and three cups of whole milk. Now many broccoli cheese soup recipes call for using cornstarch or flour as a thickener. I find that they can contribute to muddy flavor and gloppy texture. Instead, I like to use a russet potato. If you've ever made the mistake of putting mashed potatoes in a food processor, you'll know why. Potato starch is an excellent thickener. A single small potato simmered for half an hour until completely tender can stabilize and thicken the entire pot of soup. This is important for when we add the cheese. I use a combination of 12 ounces of cheddar cheese and 8 ounces of deli-style American, which I toss together with a teaspoon of dried mustard powder. This gives me a nice balance of sharp and mild flavors. To incorporate the cheese, the easiest method is to use a hand blender right in the pot. Puree the soup base and add the cheese a handful at a time, letting it completely melt before adding more. Of course, you can also use a countertop blender working in batches if you'd like. You should wind up with a smooth, creamy soup that has a good balance between broccoli and cheese flavors. Season it to taste with salt and a little dash of hot sauce if you'd like. Now add back the seared broccoli florets and stir them in. Give the soup a few more quick pulses with the blender just in order to gently break up some of those florets. Now serve the soup piping hot. I promise you, your vegetables never had it so good.